Hey, what's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. We are out here with my family today. Everyone say hello. Hello. Shout out to Benson right here. Had to give him one of those. And then we've got Ben on the trail with us. Ben's driving the SCX24. We've got my comp truck. We've got Austin's OG Axial SCX10. That's not even an SCX10 2. And then we've got the Axial SCX10 2 Blazer. We're gonna go run one of my trails out here that I like to call Risk. Let's go see how it's done. All right, so here we are on the first obstacle. Let's see if I can get my truck up here. Apparently not. Get the traction, cruise on uphill. All right, Austin, let's see what your Forerunner can do. This is the Proline body Forerunner. And like I said, this is the original SCX10. So it's got the big axles on here, some RC four wheel drive tires, Holmes Hobby motor. <laughs> Just getting those tires warmed up. Oh, that was it. That was it. There it goes. Nice. <laughs> All right, here we've got the Axial Blazer. This one struggled a little bit earlier. Might have to just push it up the hill just to get the bumper off the sand. There we go. Oh. Huh? Just give it a push. And the Axial's at the top right on. Is it gonna do it, Ben? Yeah, the stick was in its way. That was it. All right, ready, ready? Good job, dude. Woohoo! You did it. <laughs> Benson doing a good job here. Better go straight. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. There you go. Go forward and right. There you go. Nice, dude. Good job. All right, we're going to see if we can get the uh, Forerunner through here. So I've shouted him out a couple times. If you guys have heard of Austin's Off-Road Garage, this is Austin. So this is my brother, Austin. And this is actually a clone of his third gen Forerunner. He has bronze wheels on it. It is all black. And uh, the RC is pretty close to what it is. Need to get a rear tire. Uh, we need to get a rear spare tire carrier on it, but outside of that, it's pretty close. That was it. Now bring it around. Yep. Wiggle your front. You got to back up. <laughs> close. Be real close. Bring it on up. That was it. There we go. Watch out, Benson. Watch your feet, dude. Back up, just bump it. That's <laughs> nice uh, funny. That's almost it, turn that way. There you go, he got it. <laughs> He's got a line he wants to do. Keep going, keep going, okay. All right, well, naturally, you don't want three-year-olds on a cliff edge here, and the Blazer's servo decided to die, so this is where this trail gets its name, Risk, is because we're right on top of a 20-foot cliff here. So this ledge tilts you towards the edge a little bit, makes things a little more exciting, but uh, if you just drive your line right, it's pretty uneventful. So let's see if Austin's 4Runner can get through here. The danger being, if you drive too far into the wall, you can actually tip your truck higher. Turn, there you go. Nicely done. You can see it's very off camber through here. You just gotta be careful where you point your truck. This is one of my favorite climbs on this trail. You can get as crazy as you want with it. Start pointing it and try and get a hook up on this higher ledge and let that tire just grab onto there. That should be it. Not quite what I wanted, but it got it done. Tipping a tire towards the cliff is always exciting. Okay, there we go. Come on up, got it done. 
Now this part of the trail here is literally just because it looks cool. I like it. It's not real difficult. It's just awesome. It's a big uphill sweeping corner. Perfect, dude. All right, here we are on the final hard obstacle on this trail. So let's see if we can get my truck through first. Depends on the day. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Luckily, my tires are all exposed and give me a pretty good approach angle on most walls. Here we go, just trying to stay balanced. And that tire wants to slip into that canyon a little bit. To a certain point, you have to let it. And then I need to turn into it because that back tire will miss that wall if I do that. Just trying to get it on top of this rock on the back left. It's just moving it. There we go. Finally got it where I wanted. There we go. Turn up the wall. Now my back left is on the wall. Bring the front end back up. Just wiggle it back and forth. And up we go. Definitely one of my favorite looking spots. With so much room under the truck. It's a really cool formation. Alright, can the SCX-10 do it? Good line, straighten up if you can. You're balanced, you're there, you're where you need to be. Yep, yep. Perfect. Exactly what needed to happen. That was quick. Good job, yeah. dude. That was faster than me. <laughs> well, Alright guys, we got some through some tough obstacles with some new drivers like Benson right here. He did awesome. Got Austin out here on some new terrain in his little clone forerunner. Be sure to follow Austin's off-road garage. He posts content on the real trucks and uh, he's just down here visiting me and driving our seats today. But uh, it's been a great time out here on the trail guys. Thanks everyone for watching. Drop a comment what you think. Let me know if you guys get your families out here and drive around on the rocks. Anything yeah. you want to say? Thanks for having me out, dude. Absolutely. What do you want to say? Uh, if you're watching this, Solvin, this is me. Okay. This is me. Right on. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.